Hello! It is day nine, and we're finally cooking. Um, I just talked to my cousin, who I'm headed up there tomorrow, so I don't know what we're going to get tomorrow for Advent uh, 2022. Day not day 10, but it will be in Seattle slash Fox Island. So maybe I'll take you on a little field trip around town. Maybe we'll go look at Christmas lights. Don't know. But I do know it will be there for the next few days, actually. Maybe I'll sit Jane down and interview her and have her tell us some stories about living in Vienna and such. But for now, today, we are going to make my two favorite go-to party foods. So you get a phone call, noon. In fact, I called Jane and she goes, I'm going to a party tomorrow night. And I'm like, no problem, Jane. I can either come along or I can hang out at your house and get work done because I got stuff to do. Well, that got me to thinking about what would I take to a party if I had a last minute invite to go somewhere fun? really doesn't happen. But I do make this anyway, and it's what's for dinner tonight is this little snack food plus soup. But the snack food is pepper jelly salsa or pepper jelly and cream cheese and salsa and cream cheese. Both of those I love, love, love. Um, I have a very sensitive tummy and I don't like spicy foods, but there's something about the cream cheese that negates the spice. And um, I've got a little twist on it this not tonight because I went to the collective market down the road from me, my local sort of gourmet farm to table grocery store, looking for pepper jelly and cream cheese. I ultimately got the cream cheese there as well. They didn't have straight up pepper jelly, but I'll show you what they did have as we make this little recipe on the fly. There is no good way to show you my kitchen right now. It's a broken down mess. If you look right up here, can you see where my wall has been taken away and the trim is missing? That's because we're living in a kitchen that didn't get finished. Yes, I had a contractor for a year and yes, I expected this stuff to be done. But as it turns out, it didn't get done because we ran out of money. Infrastructure is very expensive and there's a lot that didn't happen that should have happened, i.e. my floor is a hot mess. Um, it's going to get replaced and the contractor is going to give me my money back to replace it. Heating also, you've heard all about the heating. But we're in my kitchen. There are some lovely aspects to my kitchen that I love. Um, it's a bit of a mess, but I'm going to show you some of those things anyway. Uh, I'm going to turn you around. Oh, you're going to get my hand. I'm going to turn you around here. Love, love, love my marble backsplash. I love, I'm going to back you up, love my plain, very plain white cabinets that go all the way, I can't even get you back far enough, all the way to the ceiling. We've not replaced the light yet. We've not replaced the chickies yet. Um, I love, 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 love my stove area. It's a bit of a mess there. Ignore that. It's not at its tidiest. David made a mess and left it. I love, 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 love my orange stove. It's beautiful. I love the stainless steel black backsplash and range hood. We've never had a proper range hood. And I actually didn't think I would, but I also like this butcher block, butcher block piece of countertop that goes next to the stove. The big thing for that is, is we do a lot of chopping next to the stove. And when that wears out, we're going to replace it with a proper one that ultimately David would make. Hopefully he would make. Now, are there other issues? Boy, howdy, other other issues. But I do love those things, so I'm going to stick to the positive. Now, let's talk about the snacks. What are we going to make in this kitchen? And I'm going to try and do this in a useful way. What you need for these snacks are a tube of cream cheese, or a block if you've got it. My local collective market had a tube, tube which is cool. So the collective market is where Black Sheep Fiber Emporium used to live. We let the lease go four years ago, I think, gratefully. I didn't know COVID was coming, but I needed to go on sabbatical and the employee, it was just too much. So I let it go and we sort of moved down. We downsized, re-downsized. But in my stead, Mindy was going to open a restaurant, but that didn't work out. So she's opened a grocery store instead. And it's super cool, super cool. I went by and I got myself some soup for dinner tonight. And then I also got the supplies for this recipe, cream cheese. Salsa, which I already have in the fridge. They also had the salsa at Mindy's at the collective kitchen. No, collective market. Um, I grabbed some sour cream because I like to put a little sour cream with my salsa and cream cheese. 
Now, the pepper jelly version of this, I like just the cream cheese and pepper jelly. They didn't have pepper jelly, which surprised me a lot. But what they did have was, uh, what is this brand actually? Stone Hollow Farmstead. Don't know where it is. Local farming, handcraft, oh, Alabama. It's handcrafted in Alabama. Um, but it's kumquat jalapeno marmalade. I'm gonna mix this in with some cream cheese. So that should be tasty, right? So cream cheese and marmalade. And a lot of the time, all you do is you put the cream cheese into a container and you pour the marmalade over the top. And then the salsa and cream cheese is gonna be mixed with my immersion blender that Kathy gave me, thankfully. Um, I'll get right to that recipe and I'll show you how to do it and then we'll have a snack. Okay, I've poured my salsa. I poured my salsa into a bowl and I wish that I didn't have metal bowls because of the acidity of the salsa, but it's not gonna be in here very long. I'm gonna move it over to a glass bowl as soon as I'm done. I'm going to dump one tube of cream cheese or a block if you've got the traditional size. And then I'm going to take half a tub of sour cream, add it into the, into the bowl. So this is a 14.7 ounce jar of mild salsa. We're going to put in eight ounces of sour cream and we're going to put in eight ounces of cream cheese for this recipe, for the, for the salsa and cream cheese recipe. All right, opening our sour cream container. And I'm going to dump half of it in here. And this softens it a bit, which is kind of why I like it. I don't like my dip to be super, super um, thick. In addition to that, um, eyeballing is fine. All right, I'm going to stir this by hand a little bit, and I'm going to add the immersion blender in to get it mixed even more. But there you go, there's that. Just a little bit of stirring, and then Time for the immersion blender. Now, this is a noisy operation, the immersion blender. So I'm gonna do this off camera. Alrighty, the second option is, ignore that piece of cream cheese that fell on the floor. Um, I have these Prostoria dishes that I have honestly been gifted over years, and most of which were from Jane, but some are from my mom. And sometimes I find them in antique stores and get excited because now I've kind of become, I've kind of gotten a soft spot for them. Pepper jelly, or in this case, um, the kumquat jalapeno jelly. We'll see. I've just had somebody in the audience, live audience, make a wrinkly nose. We'll have, if this does not taste great, we will switch it over and I'll do a proper pepper jelly from another source and um, we'll do a taste test. We'll compare. All right, and now the one thing about this tube is it's not nearly as pretty as uh, the uh, other big brand, the big box brand. But I'm gonna chop this up. It's still gonna be pretty. The one thing about, I took a sniff of this, this tastes a lot more cheese, cheesy. So it's got more cheesy undertones, which I kind of like, actually. I like the idea. All right, I'm going to go grab my spatula, and I'm going to scrape off this knife, and then we're going to open up this jar and pour it over the top, because that's all there is to it. So grab the cream cheese, you know, try not to waste food. And then I'm probably going to have to find help opening this jar, but we're going to try. <gasps> Easy peasy. And then I'm just going to pour the whole thing in. The whole thing in. In fact, I'm going to use this knife because the whole thing's going in. This is nice and chunky kumquat jalapeno. We'll see. We'll see how it tastes on the chip. There. This one's interesting because usually pepper jelly has no chunks at all. Ignore the stair noises if you can hear them. My husband's wandering about and has no, no uh, notice of his noise making. All right, and there we go. I'm just gonna. Just, you don't want this one super mixed up. You just want to have a, see a little bit of cream cheese, a little bit of uh, 
You can also, not in this jar, not in this glass, but you can also heat this up and it's pretty good too. Kind of like, um, um, I mean, you can do it with brie. Grab a brie and uh, put the jelly on top. All right, there we go. That's the second dip. Looks a mess, tastes divine. I'm gonna go get a chip and we're gonna try it. Does kumquat jalapeno jelly taste as good as regular pepper jelly mixed with cream cheese? Let's give it a whirl. There it is on my chip. Yes, it does. Dang good. Oh my god. All right. My child Grayson, sidekick Grayson, is going to give it a try. Do you want it your face on camera or you want to try it off camera and just give your verbal? I don't care. Grayson just got home from work. Oh my god, it's so good. It's so I like the limey kick at the back. Oh, it's so chunky. Yeah, it's very chunky. But it's good to get a quat. Get a quat on your... There you go. Mm. It's good. It's good. Now, mm. I will say... Mm. Oh, there's the, the quat part's not as happy. Um, I'll say that the finest pepper jelly I ever had was from a friend. Kelly's. <laughs> I've never had Kelly's. Here we go. Uh, I don't remember Kelly's. Normally, when I had pepper jelly, it was from my friend from coffee. Her husband used to make it like a crazy thing. And he would bring it over. And Pat, actually. Pat used to give me pepper jelly. And I haven't had it in years. Because we left the neighborhood. Alright, I'm going to have a second one because it was not good. Now we're taste testing the salsa and cream cheese and sour cream. Now we're going to make our own little party at home tonight. Is it spicy? I don't know. I haven't tried it. I like the pepper jelly more. This is not spicy at all. Spicy? It's mild salsa, by the way. All right, now I'm going over to the sauce, salsa and cream cheese and sour cream. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's good. And I like it that it's a little um, not as thick because of my sour cream stale. tick. Thank you for saying that on camera. <laughs> we had some stale chips, a little bit. Um, so that's for, that's it for me from this evening on day 10 of Advent 2022. Still no Christmas ornaments and they aren't going to have them for a few days because I'm going up to my cousin's house tomorrow, first thing. Um, I still hope you're having a good December. Um, I will see you tomorrow with something up from the Tacoma Deer Island area festivities. Um, if you haven't subscribed, I say this every night. I'm saying this every night. If you haven't subscribed, please do ring the bell, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment, man. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.